Hey, good morning YouTube folks. This is uh, Virginia Country Boy here again with a quick video. Um, today I wanted to show you a quick video of some container gardening that I'm doing. Uh, this is all part of my experimentation process. Uh, I am by no means an expert or a pro at any of this kind of stuff. Uh, first just want to kind of give you a bit of a panoramic view of the backyard there, kind of overcast today here. Um, again, I'm out near the coast of uh, eastern North Carolina here. And a uh, quick uh, panoramic view of the two ponds and there's a little bit better view of my back deck there, uh, which is where, come springtime, a lot of my container gardening, uh, or my containers will probably go including the one that I'm about to show you here right now. So, without further ado, this is my version of a pop bottle self-watering, how does Larry call that thing? The self-watering pop bottle garden, I believe is what he calls it. Basically what it is, it's a container that has... And you can put any number of these pop bottles in uh, these containers. This particular one has four. There's actually three soda bottles, two liter bottles, that the bottoms have been cut off of. Uh, I put potting mix in them and then planted my seeds. Um, the first one of these, if I can get my hand or finger in here, the one there on the left, front left, that is an Italian... Um, salad mix of some sort and by the way I planted all of these the same day I planted them on August the 20 I think it was the 24th or the 25th um, this one right here is I'm trying to read it here this was supposed to have been jalapeno peppers but when I opened the packet there was only two seeds in there and this is also some type of a early Golden Age Cabbage. Never heard of it, but figured I would try it. And that probably needs to be transplanted. And back here in the back, I have some large red cherry tomatoes that um, I'll probably be transplanting very soon. And then this little bottle back here in the back, I don't know if you can see this or not, this is the reservoir that holds extra water, two liters of water. Um, that's part of the self-watering process. Now, this white container right here that I'm using right now, again, this is experimental. Um, basically what that is, is that it's a styrofoam, insulated styrofoam container that my dad receives his insulin in uh, when he gets his monthly insulin, insulin supply. And so what I did was I took the lid and I cut out four holes, roughly the diameter of a two-liter pop bottle. I then, like I said, I cut the bottoms off of the pop bottles. I uh, loaded them down with uh, a soil mix, I think they call it. Um, it's, not a, it's a potting mix, not a potting soil. Uh, you want a potting mix because it... Uh, it actually wicks up the water from the bottom of the reservoir a lot better. Um, I'm going to pause the video here for just a moment here. I'm going to try to take the top off here, give you an idea of what this thing uh, looks like down on the inside. Okay, so bear with me. Okay, guys, before I show you the inside of that um, insulated container, I want to show you what I started out with. And again, I got this idea from a gentleman by the name of Larry Hall. Um, out in the Midwest, or I think he's in Minnesota or somewhere like that. Larry, I apologize if I got that wrong. But uh, I'll put a link to Larry's site in the video that shows uh, how he does this pop bottle um, self-watering uh, garden. But that's just a two-liter, standard two-liter bottle, uh, Diet Dr. Pepper. And what I did, as you'll see here, sorry for the shoddy video work there, folks. As I took one of these bottles and I cut the bottom out of it. Where's my, there we go. And um, that's where you put your potting mix is, is you fill up that uh, container right there once you cut the bottom off of it. 
And on the bottom here, as you'll see, there's a black cloth. Now, Larry says use a, um, what is it, some type of landscape fabric or something like that. I didn't have any landscape fabric, but I did have some, uh, some fabric that I found inside of a box um, that some of my furniture was shipped in. And I put a uh, zip tie on there, and that keeps the soil from dropping down inside the water reservoir there holds the soil in place and uh, basically you just fill it up uh, with soil to the desired depth and then you put your seeds in there and basically that's all I've done here like I said I put the uh, spring salad mix the jalapeno peppers and the cabbage and to the tomatoes uh, planted those on August 24th or 25th somewhere there about and um, I wanted to start a video when I first did it but uh, Again, I'm still getting settled here at the new place, so uh, uh, this is my first follow-up video on that. And um, I think that's some pretty good growth from August 25th to today. Um, I'll probably start sampling or uh, some of the salad mix here um, in the next few days just to kind of try it out. Um, not really familiar with this particular brand, but uh, uh, it looks good. I can probably get a nice little salad from that. Uh, the cabbage, uh, like I said, I will transplant here soon, and the tomato plants. Um, I'm not a gardener, folks. I don't know at what point in time you should transplant these things, but um, it's starting to get uh, cool here now uh, in this area, and uh, I want to go ahead and transplant these so I can go ahead and probably start bringing them inside to where I don't have to worry about the cold weather killing them off. So, All right, I'm going to pause again and see if I can take a look at the inside of this container here. Okay, folks, rather than pull the entire lid off, I'm going to try to get a shot of down inside this hole here. And I don't know if you can see that that well, but remember there was a bottle down here uh, that was full of water. That is actually this bottle right here now. And what I do is I got holes drilled all around the sides there. So when you invert it, um, gravity naturally takes the water to the bottom of the um, of the reservoir here of this uh, insulated tank and right now there's probably about maybe four inches of water down in the bottom of this hole right now and these little um, the bottom of the uh, the bottles here as it goes down inside there um, I don't know if you can see that or not but it immediately fills up with water water starts waking up into the bottle and also into the soil and therefore you never really have to worry about constantly watering your plants. So I'm going to stick this back in here real quick, flip it upside down and sorry for the shoddy video work there and you can hear it gurgling a little bit. There's uh, a little bit of water already kind of going back into the uh, insulated container there. And that's pretty much it, folks. Um, I'll post some follow-up videos a little bit later on, but uh, this is my first container garden. Thank you very much, Larry Hall and all of the guys over at the Rain Gutter Grow System group page there for all of your knowledge and wisdom that you've shared with me. And uh, um, I will start another one of these here real soon. All right, one more moment. Got one more thing to hold you. Excuse me, I've got one more thing to show you. Put you on pause here for just one second. Hey guys, uh, hey, apologize again for the shoddy video work here. I know this thing seems kind of uh, um, put together, uh, not in any kind of random order, but uh, hey, I just want to get a video out real quick. It is what it is, so uh, hopefully you'll get the idea. But just wanted to show you real quick, this is one of those styrofoam containers that I was telling you. This is an empty one here, nothing in it. Uh, again, this was, uh, uh, they use this for shipping medical supplies. Um, here is the lid. Um, so there you see it without the lid. Basically all I did was I took this lid, I drilled four holes in it, took four of these two liter bottles here that you see, uh, cut the bottoms off of them, um, put uh, a little bit of uh, fabric of some sort with a zip tie on it, to keep the soil in, inserted the two liter bottles in three of the four holes and then one of the holes I used a uh, regular pop bottle there uh, with some holes drilled into the bottom of it to, uh, uh, to act as a source for uh, continuously feeding water to 
this little garden system here. I think it's a real neat idea. Larry, again, I appreciate you guys uh, sharing that information with you. This is just my version of it. Most people will use uh, something like a tote, like you see there. I'm using my little tote as a bench, more or less. But you can go to Walmart, your dollar store, anywhere, find totes of different sizes, and um, cut holes in the lids and do basically the same thing. But uh, again, I just use what I had as an experiment. It appears to be working pretty good right now, and uh, I will certainly keep you guys posted. I'm also using another one of these containers um, for compost. Um, again, I'm new with this whole thing. I don't know how well this is going to work out uh, in that bin right there now that uh, uh, that little tub is sitting on. I've got some fruit, some oranges, some uh, pears that have started rotting. There's some vegetation from some cabbage and some turnip greens and whatnot in there. Um, uh, all biodegradable uh, stuff. I've also got some eggshells down here mixed in with some uh, some potting soil. And uh, I'm in bear country so I uh, I don't keep the lid open on that. Uh, I don't know how much air that stuff should be getting but I try to come out every other day or so and stir it, agitate it a little bit. Um, and uh, so far it seems to be working pretty well. So. Again, folks, um, thanks for stopping by checking out the video. Um, I know it's all over the place, but uh, next time I'll try to sit down and take a little more time to organize my thoughts. Uh, just wanted to get this out to you real quick. All right, thanks again for watching, everybody. Y'all have a blessed day, and um, we'll see you next time. Virginia Country Boy, and I am out of here. God bless.